Welcome back to How to Be a Poser. Today we're going to simulate physics and weight distribution, and to illustrate that, we're going to be using our six scale speeder bike and scout trooper figure. Let's get started. What I like to do is basically just get the figure in the riding posture as close as I can approximate it right away. This isn't a cruiser. The speeder bike is a crotch rocket. So you really want to get this guy into an aggressive posture. Start early enough. Get that back bent like that. His head's going to be up. His arms are going to be out. Just keep thinking ninja. Kawasaki, not throwing stars. That's good. Feet around the foot pedals. That's going to be solid. Okay. While I've got him in this position, I want to make an important note in regards to proper riding position for the biker scout on the speeder bike. If you have him too far forward, he's going to wind up sitting up tall in the saddle. What that's going to do is that's going to create an illusion that the bike, that the bike and the scout are out of scale one with the other. And we don't want that. So try to get him as far back as you can and then lean his body forward into a streamlined position just to create some aerodynamics. Once you've accomplished that, you can bring the arm up and very gently, because these things are really tiny and fragile, just kind of negotiate that handlebar through that hand. Now, we're going to create a turn. Now, when you do this, this base swivels. And if you move it a little bit off center like that, then the force of this thing, the lean will be caught by the back edge and it will keep it from toppling over. Now, he's turning, but what's happening here is his body is still kind of centered. So we're going to take that body and move it a little bit off center. And this is where it gets challenging. The more off center he gets, the more his body is going to want to kind of fall off the bike. So you have to keep working your way back over here. Every time you make a minor adjustment, you have to keep working your way back over and repositioning that boot onto the foot plate. You need to bring this one down and create some pressure by making sure that boot is nice and tight against the foot plate. While he's banking, I want this guy to be shooting his pistol at the same time. So we're going to bring his arm up. Best way I found is to swivel it like this to get it to the right height, then bend it out. When you think you've got it dialed, and if it keeps trying to fall off the bike, kind of squeeze those knees together just to touch. And that'll create the friction necessary to get the dude to hang on. Now it looks like he's shooting down, so I want to bring this arm up very gently. And rotate it. Turn that head. Now notice how he's sitting off the saddle here because he's in an aggressive position. He's in an attack position and it's perfectly natural for a biker to come out of the saddle like that, whether it's in the dirt, on the track, or wherever. This scene in Return of the Jedi is probably the number one reason why I ride a motorcycle today.